When it comes to recording audio with your Lumix cameras, depending on the model you have, you may have a couple of options. Many models support a 3.5 millimeter standard microphone input, and select models have support for the XLR1, allowing you to connect an XLR microphone directly to your camera. Let's start with a small on-camera shotgun microphone like this one here. First, remove the hot shoe cover from the top of your camera. And then connect the microphone by sliding it into the hot shoe and locking it in place. And then to plug it in, you'll find behind this door here, the microphone port. It's always a good idea to monitor audio directly from the camera. So I've got my headphones here and we'll just plug those in right there as well. Before we dive into the menus, it's important to know that you can adjust the headphone level by simply rotating the command dial on the back of the camera. Turn this and you will be able to adjust your headphone level, which you can see there. To adjust your microphone settings, jump into the menus, starting from the video menu, navigate to the audio tab, and then at the top of the audio tab, we have our first option. You'll see it says sound record level display. This is simply an on or off display, and this is what allows us to see our audio levels on the back of the LCD. Next, you have your sound recording levels adjustment. You can go from plus six all the way down to minus 12 or to mute. Let's start it at zero. Now, at this point, you might be tempted to adjust your levels so that they look good on the meters. However, there's something you're gonna to wanna to disable before you do that, and that is the auto limiter. So let me back up in the menus here, jump down to sound record level limiter, and turn that off. This way, I can set my levels for the microphone so that they are truly within range, and then we'll turn the limiter on as a safety net, as opposed to relying on the limiter to keep our levels within range the whole time. Now that the limiter is off, I'll go back into the level adjustment and find a place where the sounds like it's at the right level. As I'm talking through this, I'm looking at my levels and I wanna be hitting right around minus 12, occasionally jumping into the yellow, but definitely not going above that. That looks pretty good there. Now that that's set up, I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable the sound limiter. Once again, this now acts as a safety net and while it won't necessarily catch everything, it will catch most of those sudden loud sounds. The next option to look at is wind cut. It's turned off right now, but by turning this on, it will allow me to reduce any wind noises that might be hitting the microphone. You have three levels for this, low, medium, and high, and of course, you'll just need to experiment with that in your environment. Of course, the best solution is to put on a physical windsock. That's gonna give you a much better result, but if you don't have one and you are picking up wind noise, do try turning this on. Then under the mic socket, we have three different choices of what the camera's expecting on the microphone input. Right now it's set to standard mic, and that's because I have a microphone on here that is delivering its own power. This mic takes a AA battery. Above that, you'll see an option that has mic with power. This is actually going to supply power to the microphone. And this is only gonna work with certain microphones, so of course, check with your microphone settings to see what it requires. Then at the bottom, we have line level input. So if you're plugged into a mixing board, you're gonna to wanna to set it to line level. There's a couple other options here that aren't available right now. The first one is special microphone. This is actually exclusive to the Panasonic MS2 microphone and gives you various options as far as the pickup pattern and other settings go on that mic. Then we get to an XLR mic setting, which is currently not available because we don't have the XLR one connected. We'll come back to that later. Then there's the sound output, which allows you to choose between real time and recorded sound. Real time will let you hear the audio coming through your microphone, through the headphones in real time. And this is advantageous if you're standing in front of someone who's talking, listening to their audio. If you don't have it set to real time, then you're gonna hear it on a slight delay, which can be a little bit distracting. In real time, you're going to hear more of the pure audio and not as much of what the camera is actually recording. To hear that, we switch over to record sound. Now we're gonna hear exactly what the camera is recording. However, you are going to hear it on a very slight delay. So once again, if you're in front of the person who's talking, this can be a bit distracting, but if you're watching this on a monitor in a remote location, then this is a more likely way to have this set up. And finally, we can adjust our headphone volume from here just as we could on the back of the camera directly. Next, let's talk about the XLR1. The XLR1 will allow us to connect an XLR microphone directly to our Lumix camera. That's a microphone like this here with a port like this here. This is the XLR1. Let's take a look at it. The XLR1 has dual XLR inputs, input one and input two. And on the other side, you have all of your controls behind a protective door. You'll see on here a bank of settings that are mirrored for input one and input two. You have your line level. It can be line level, mic level, or 48 volt phantom power level. You have your gain of minus 20, zero, or plus 20, your low cut filter, 
And then on the dials, you have your levels controls. Here you have an input one and two switch. So if you're using just one microphone, you set it to input one and one. Or if you're using dual microphones, set it to input one and two, and that'll direct one channel to the left and one channel to the right of your recording. And then finally here you have an ALC or auto level control. I advise for the most part, leaving that off. Close the door to protect the settings and slide that on your camera. As soon as I slide it on, the power light comes on and I can lock this onto the camera. Now let's go into the menu settings and see what other options we have. You'll notice now that many of these options that we had before are now disabled. You can't adjust the levels because that's done on the XLR1 itself. Also the limiter is disabled and the wind noise canceller is disabled. You do still have the mic socket settings because you can actually switch back and forth between the XLR mic and a 3.5 millimeter input. To do that, you'd go to this menu and simply turn off the XLR mic. And now we're listening to the audio coming in off the three and a half millimeter port. Turn this back on and we're back to the XLR. And that's what you need to know to get audio into your Lumix camera. Panasonic.